This is my third video on physics equations and it's about refractive index. It's quite a long one, it's quite an important one. There's a few equations we need to know. So first of all, what is refractive index? Well, if light is traveling in air at about three times 10 to the eight meters per second, if it goes into glass, it slows down. It's like a car driving into a muddy field and the light will slow down. In this particular type of glass, it, it slows down to two times 10 to the eight meters per second. It's slowed down quite a lot, okay? If an electromagnetic wave travels into glass from air, or, or if it goes into water, it slows down, okay? The refractive index is little n, and it tells us how much it slows down. The refractive index is the speed of light in air, in this case, three times 10 to the eight, divided by the speed of light in the glass, which is two times 10 to the eight. So N equals C over V. Now, because nothing can travel faster than the speed of light in, a, in air or vacuum, three times 10 to the eight, N is always bigger than one, okay? N is gonna be 1.33 or 1.4 or 1.5, something like that. N is always bigger than one. And because it's a ratio, it doesn't have any units. It is just 1.4 or whatever, okay? So N is refractive index, and it's how much the wave slows down. Triangle time, let's do this example together. Light travels in air at three times 10 to the eight meters per second. Light travels in water at 2.26 times 10 to the eight meters per second. What's the refractive index of water? So N equals C over V. So it's gonna be three times 10 to the eight divided by 2.26 times 10 to the eight. Uh, the 10 to the eights, by the way, cancel. All I have to do on my calculator is just do three divided by 2.26. And I get the answer of 1.3. And that is the refractive index of water. Uh, pause the video and do this one for yourself and I'll show you the answer in a couple of seconds and there it is so v equals c over n so 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 2.4 gives us 1.3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second okay now when light enters glass at an angle, hopefully you recognize this from GCSE, it changes direction. Now, at, at an angle to what? Well, at an angle to the normal. This dotted line in the middle at right angles is called the normal, okay? At right angles to the surface. In fact, that's what the word normal means. The word normal means perpendicular. And the light comes in at this big angle, I, which is the angle of incidence. And then the light enters the glass at this smaller angle, R, which is the angle of refraction. Now, an easy sum would be, if we know what the angles are, we can work out the refractive index. What would be a little bit harder is if we know the refractive index and we work out the angles. We'll have a look at both of them. But basically, we're gonna use this equation here, which is N equals sine I over sine R. First one, light enters glass at 45 degrees to the normal. The angle of refraction is 32 degrees. Calculate the refractive index of the glass. So N equals sine I over sine R. So sine I over sine R, sine 45 over sine 32 is 1.33. Uh, it's bigger than one and it has no units, so I'm happy. Here's a sum for you to have a go at, which is a little bit trickier. We'll, we'll see how you do, and I'll show you the answer in a couple of seconds. And here's the answer, okay? Now, to work out R, before we work out R, work out sine R. Using the triangle, sine R is sine I over N. So sine 60 over 1.4 is 0.62. And then R is going to be sine to the minus one of 0.62 or, or shift sine of 0.62. Uh, 
which is 38.3 degrees.